I was eight years old. Because of a surgery accident, I became paralyzed and I had to rebuild my, you know, my own life again. Because of the sports that I found, I relearned very quickly and I wasn't worried about the things that I couldn't do anymore and I was only focused on the things that I could do and I think that has saved um, my life. I started playing basketball but at the same time I was playing tennis uh, but then all of a sudden the national coach of the tennis saw me playing he said well you have talent for tennis maybe you should focus on that. So, you know the focus on tennis and going my own way and making my own plan and there was more of a challenge for me in tennis than there was in basketball. I've played a couple of tournaments in Florida not too long ago and my unbeaten record is now 452 matches in a row. Sometimes this streak gives me a lot of confidence and sometimes this streak gives me a lot of pressure. The determination a long time ago that I really wanted to become number one in the world and I wanted to do everything for that. That's a strength that I have. I think the Paralympic Games uh, at the moment are the the highest or the, the, the highest ranked event in wheelchair sports or disabled sports. It's going to be stressful, I'm sure, um, but at the same time I feel very confident um, and very powerful. I have this new chair that I developed, uh, which I feel very confident in. I trained very hard this winter on specific things, so I'm very confident that I'm able to win that gold medal. The most memorable point from one of the Paralympic Games is probably the match point against me that I had in uh, Beijing 2008. And I told myself over and over uh, that I wouldn't mind losing in any of the tournaments during that year, but I wouldn't want to lose, I didn't want to lose during the Paralympic Games. And then all of a sudden um, I had match, match point against me and you know it was so close by just one ball away of losing the gold medal. Being able to focus back on my serve and turn the whole match around and uh, win a gold medal, that's, that's probably one of the most valuable moments in my Paralympic um, career. The, the Laureus Award, I won it twice, uh, one in 2002 and one in 2008. And I think this is one of the most special awards there is because it's chosen by former top athletes. They know what it takes and they know what it is like to be an athlete. This year I got uh, beaten by uh, Oscar Pistorius. You know, I admire him so much because he is the one that fights for the same thing that I fight for is get the gap smaller between disabled sports and uh, able-bodied sports. And I think the way he does that by just running fast and not making a big issue about it, basically, but just doing his thing um, makes him so powerful. Laureus Foundation is one of my main uh, foundations that I'm an ambassador for. I'm convinced that sports can help kids in their development, especially kids with disability or especially kids who you know, need, have to grow up in disadvantaged areas, uh, they need the support and Laureus can give that support through sports.